Brought to you by the Lightspeed Zulu, simply the quietest, most comfortable headset in the world and preferred by professional pilots everywhere, and by Philips 66 Aviation. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the National Business Aviation Show in Atlanta, Georgia, where Garmin's surprise announcement was the G5000, a new EFA suite designed for the Part 25 market. Here's Garmin's Carl Wolf with the details. Probably one of our biggest announcements ever in the aviation side of uh, Garmin today. We announced our G5000 integrated flight deck. This is for Part 25 uh, aircraft, and uh, it's really the next step for us. We've, uh, you know, we've had a lot of uh, success in the piston market. Last year, we announced a, a G3000, which is a flight deck for Part 23 turbine class aircraft, and now G5000 is for Part 25. Uh, aircraft and it was really the next step for us. What helped motivate us to get to this step was our work that we did on the Phenom 300. That's a Part 23 Class 4 aircraft which is essentially uh, a lot of the same requirements that are uh, needed for Part 25 uh, category. So uh, a lot of folks have been asking, a lot of OEMs have asked us uh, when we're going to get there and and uh, and we're there. And uh, this system will be certified in 2012 and it's helping to broaden our market. As you know, we work on everything from LSAs through Pistons, Part 23, and now we're into Part 25. So we're truly excited and it's honestly one of the biggest announcements we've ever had on the aviation side. Uh, Part 25 is defined by the FAA as uh, aircraft over 12,500 pounds. There have been some uh, uh, modifications or uh, so forth to get some Part 23 aircraft in there, but essentially it's any, any aircraft over 12,500 uh, pounds is considered Part 25. So business jets uh, above the Phenom 300, uh, above the Mustang, uh, aircraft like this would qualify to be in Part 25. And it, the reason it's significant is it requires a completely different uh, set of software, if you will, for uh, software uh, design assurance levels for Part 25 than exists for Part 23. Architecture is uh, uh, very similar to what we uh, discussed uh, last year at G3000. We have new displays. We have 14-inch uh, displays and 12-inch uh, displays. These are widescreen displays, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And uh, we also have the uh, touchscreen controllers, what we're calling the vehicle management uh, systems. And uh, this is new, uh, uh, a new design, I think, for GA. But a lot of what a lot of people may not know is touchscreen and cockpits have been used for years in the military. Even the uh, airliner that we flew down in last night had a touchscreen controller in it. So it's not it's not new to aviation. It just may be new in general and business aviation. Garmin's launch customer for the G5000 is the newly announced Cessna Citation 10. You can find a video about that project in AvWeb's NBAA coverage. Thanks for watching.